Hey, good morning everybody. Saturday, January 7th. Back home in Dingaland. Let's take a look. The kids are playing over here because it was uh, sprinkling a little bit. Play nice, play nice. But uh, as you can see, the sun is out now. Very bright. They'll be out on the playground. This is their playground, as I've showed you before, Jungle Gym. They're always on it. Catherine's even got calluses already on her hands. She's getting ready to lose another tooth also. It's very loose. She's going to pull it out on her own. She's been playing with it. <clears throat> the last loose tooth she had, she pulled out with her fingers. She'd rather do it herself than have Mommy do it. Mommy does it, she cries. <clears throat> but we got a nice day going on, I think. Hopefully the sun will stay out so I could maybe get the grass cut. It's due. Nice breeze, uh, a little bit uh, on the chilly side, but not really. Just uh, feels good. Had a couple brownouts yesterday, but we didn't get home till late. Uh, probably pulled in here maybe around 5, 5.30. Maybe even a little later. It was, uh, it was dark already. Uh, the roads coming in here were really, really wet and muddy. It's been raining a lot while we were gone. A whole lot. So, of course, Mommy's doing laundry now. There's a lot of dirty clothes. So that's another reason we hope the sun stays out. I think it will. I think the storm system's over. Whatever storm system it was, low pressure, whatever. Uh... But we had a good trip, got a lot of things accomplished. A good drive, good safe drive, no problems at all with the driving. Uh, very happy to have a driver. It was worth uh, paying him. Uh, we paid 1000 a day for him to drive. $20 a day, which is well worth it from the stress. I would have had or Grace would have had driving in Manila. It's definitely not fun driving there. So we'll use Richard again when we have to go back on the 25th and do it all over again. Uh, I have to fill out my paperwork. I'll probably do that in the next day or two. So uh, when I get there, everything will be ready. I might have to take another picture because I'm not really happy with the picture that they already took. There's a place in town here that takes passport pictures. Uh, there's uh, still some uh, visitors around this way. Uh, the neighbors have some vidjoki going on. I hope you can't hear it. <clears throat> because uh, music is not a good thing on YouTube. But uh, hopefully it's not it's not that loud. I'll show you the stream real quick. Uh, Jimmy said while we were going there was a lot a lot of water. It was really high. Let's see what it looks like now. It's not too bad, but it is flowing. It is flowing. It is moving. But I guess eventually we're gonna have a lot of erosion, especially on our driveway right away I wish uh, wish we could do something about it quicker but building a big uh, wall like this is very expensive I don't really have the money to do something like that but we're gonna have to do something uh, we're hoping the uh, the government here helps us because it's really not our uh, creek it's not ours it's a runway for the water from the mountains and they they're supposed to really build the wall 
a storm system so maybe they will but everything here takes time a long time so I'm not counting on it for for a while we had our friend Danelle talk to the mayor's office about it he said they were gonna do it but uh, they're working on other projects of course But uh, if, they too, if they wait too long, we're not going to have a, a right away. I'll show you real quick. Anyway, I'm walking that way. So yeah, I just hope uh, hope it stays sunny. I'd like to get this grass cut. It's not uh, emergency or anything, but um, definitely like to do it. Laundry day. This is our right of way, of course. The Jimmy said the water was really, really high. And in certain areas, we don't have a lot of uh, room. Especially like around this bend here. You know, look at this. It's, it's not, it's not a lot. It's already eroding here. Of course, we don't drive right here, but still, it's not going to take long for it to come up to these posts. Then we're going to have to keep inching over this way. I think this is uh, five meters across. Which is uh, 15 feet. Which seems like a lot, but really when you think about it, it's not. All this area here is really, really close to the water. Look at these posts. Right here, pretty much in the water, here. So it should be like the other side there. See that uh, cement wall? That's what it should look like. It used to, see, there's a break right here. There's a break. So I guess at one time there was a wall here. So they need to continue that wall all the way down on my side, like it is over here. It's not all the way here though, it stops, it stops right here on the other side. Yeah. Uh, there's the end of our driveway right there. We put a little block with a sign on it so people don't keep driving down here. Now that we're not a resort, I want to let people know this is private. Because people keep making a wrong turn. They're heading to uh, Phoebe, Phoebe's place, Carrillo's. And they make a wrong turn. And having to turn around or back up. There's a nice horse over here now. I don't see horses too often. He's hanging out with the caribou. But uh, at least he's not tied up, I don't think. And he's not uh, underfed. I think, he, look, he looks pretty healthy. So he's grazing. Looks like he might be an older horse. But he looks pretty good. And then there's the caribou right there. They probably belong to the same person. That other caribou that died a long time ago, uh, no more problems. We didn't have any more issues. No more smells. So uh, I guess it's still buried. <laughs> it sure didn't go anywhere. So everything else is good. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now. Get some breakfast. Try to enjoy uh, the rest of the day. Relax, because we're home now, 
until our uh, next big trip. The next big trip on the 25th. We're going to have to do it all over again. We're going to have to take the kids again. We're going to have to get a hotel room again. Not really looking forward to it, but uh, as long as uh, I can get everything done. It'll be the last time. So, uh, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Thanks for following along. I really appreciate any new subscribers out there. I even made a new friend. Uh, he sent me a friend request. Uh, I believe he lives in Florida now, but he used to live in Baltimore. He even went to the same high school as me. And he looks just like me, like Santa Claus. He dresses up like Santa Claus. Uh, so we have a lot in common. So, uh, hopefully he's a new subscriber. Uh, I got a request on Facebook from him. So, uh, thanks again for all you new subscribers out there. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. And, uh, God bless everyone. Santa Claus, over and out.